Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh from Little Fish Audio. <clears throat> I wanted to share with you some of the things that we've been working on. I know that I'm always interested in these conversion debates uh, about which converter is better than the other, whether clocking actually works or it doesn't. And I've read everything that I can about it. I've talked to you know engineers that are far better than I am doing this around the clock for major labels. And, you know, I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm not noticing huge differences. I have, in the past, I clocked a Lynx Aurora from an OCX, an Antelope OCX, and thought I could hear some differences in reverb tails. I also clocked the Aurora from Black Lion Audio's a micro clock and thought I heard some differences, but really wasn't quite sure. So I decided to get an Antelope OCX and also get their flagship 10M clock source. And I wanted to see if our HD16 would be improved, if the quality of conversion would improve with, you know, with this clock source. They're very expensive converters. These are $5,000 converters. Could we improve upon them um, with an external clock? So what we do is we send signal out and back in. This is our loopback test and check out. Uh, and we have a comparison test where you can actually compare uh, converters after loop uh, looping back 50 times and to see how they stand up. Um, and so we did this test with a with clocking. Um, and I wanted to see exactly how using this source uh, for timing to see more accurately capture the, the sound with a more accurate clock. So with a converter, you have several parts that contribute to the sound. There's the actual clocking, there are the analog stages, there are filters. So really what all we're doing right now is trying to improve upon the clocking source. So we have here an original signal and then we have this signal run through our HD16 converter looping it back 50 times. So we've sent it out back in and it introduces some distortion and changes the signal in a pretty significant way visibly and you can certainly see the difference in waveform. Now, we did the same thing clocking the HD16 with an antelope OCX. And here you have that. And you can see some difference, but it's minute. You know, here I see a little bit of a difference. Also some flattening of the signal. Here, maybe if anything, it's losing some dynamic range and, and detail, but the difference, it seems negligible. Then I decided to loop it back with the 10M and the OCX, which was supposed to be the holy grail. And a lot of people have been talking about this on, on forums. And so let's take a look at what happened with that. And you can see, hmm, not a whole heck of a lot. And it doesn't sound very different. So I said, okay, maybe the quality of conversion here is um, so good that it's really impossible to improve upon it with a clock. But as you can see, there has been a bunch of degeneration. So I would hope that a better clock would improve it. Yet it clearly hasn't. The similarities with and without clock are, you know, astounding. So the only difference between this and this is 50 loops. The difference between this and this separate clock. A super clock. So I thought, okay, maybe this uh, a clock may improve the signal of a lowly 96 IO, which was, you know, maybe eight years older technology. And what I found, here's the 96 IO, and let's remove so you can see it against the original. Here's the original track. This is it looped back 50 times through the 96 IO and I don't know why this is but um, and this is same cabling same everything for all of these tests the 96 seemed to hold up better um, on the loopback test um, after 50 loops this is the 96 IO clocked with a 10M and an OCX um, so receiving I don't know ten thousand dollars in clocking for an $800 um, interface, and the results were there. There was no perceivable difference. We couldn't see a difference in in the waveform, nor could we see a difference in the the actual sound. So, in our view, external clocking, at least when you get to converters of this level, doesn't really seem to help at all, and it certainly doesn't warrant 
the expenditure of purchasing a clock that's, you know, five, ten thousand dollars in clocking doesn't make really too much of a difference. With that being said, perhaps when you're introducing multiple converters clocked from the same source, perhaps there's there's something there. So I don't know. The jury's still out on that. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the work that we're doing. We're trying to bring you the goods here, get you some real information, you know, to help you make better informed choices when you're buying. Thanks.